We wanted to just really quickly run through, like obviously it's like less instructional this month and you guys can pretty much do whatever your heart desires. Um, we all wanted to say hi. So, and I'm, I think I know everybody actually. Um, Mary Beth from Buzzy Space, Sarah and Ashley, and then we have Leticia this month as well, who's joining us, which is awesome. And Christina at Interface as well. So we are just happy to see you guys and thanks for joining. Um, we are doing pumpkins this month. How timely and seasonal. Um, so I'm going to go through just some of the setup um, items. Actually, do you want to click to the next slide? Awesome. So you guys should have all your like essential stuff, right, in your kit. Um, but it, I feel like everybody's doing this anyways, but um, the acrylic paint won't stain your surfaces, but you might want to lay like a protective um, craft paper or something down. Um, you want to have water if you're painting just because like it's nice to be able to dilute the acrylic. I have plastic plates just because I'm planning to like mix my own colors. So you could have a glass or an actual paint palette if you have one of those. Um, tape too. So actually, I started taping my pumpkin already. This is great if you're doing like really geometric design. So if you have um, masking tape nearby. Um, the other thing too, if you're painting your entire pumpkin, a, a bigger paintbrush might be handy. Obviously a serrated knife. We weren't going to send you guys one of those in the mail. Um, and then Later on, we can share more about like preserving your pumpkins and having polyurethane like a spray is really nice to help preserve the paint. Okay, and then here's the, the official um, rules, I guess, and the judging criteria for our competition. Um, so obviously we want you to do whatever you want and have fun with this, um, but we are going to make a competition out of it. And so just to clarify, um, you can do one pumpkin, you can you enter all three pumpkin pumpkins and sort of a configuration if you want and use whatever you want. So we just included the essentials, but feel free to make it super unique. Um, our judging criteria, again, just have fun and be imaginative and um, something original is probably more ideal. Um, we're going to give extra credit if it's like spooky. I just want to use the word spectacular. Um, and then to enter, tag, um, tag us actually um, either Ashley, Sarah, or myself on Instagram and tag Tuesday T if you want, but then we'll be able to see all your photos. And um, the, we hope to have all the entries by 7 p.m. And then the prizes. Okay, so we're gonna put together a fall gift basket, which is going to be beautiful. The second place prize is gonna be a Buzzy Box travel bag, which is felt and super sturdy for you guys transporting samples and whatnot. And then third place, we're hoping Ashley can get her hands on some Knoll um, tablet cases, which should be great. Really nice prizes for you guys. So bring on the competition. <laughs> Question for you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, sorry, I've been having issues with my sound, so I want to make sure. But um, if we don't have Instagram, because I technically don't, I know it's weird. <laughs> I just no, send you fine. photos of my, of my pumpkin. Yeah, just email them. Okay. Email them. Email them. And I could post them for you. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. So, and that's a good question. If, yeah. Um, I feel like we're doing more on Instagram these days, but. Yeah. Tell us you can turn it off, though. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as always, we have some inspirational ideas. These are just ideas just to get your, um, you know, creativity flowing here. Um, there's so many different ideas. So just going through, um, there's of course like bold geometric patterns you can do. You can keep it as simple as um, just doing shapes or dots or patterns. Just some fun ideas. 
And then um, the more seasonal things, like I think the um, buffalo plaid is kind of cute and kind of got that fall vibe happening. Um, so it's another idea and I'll kind of run you through that one. And there's some more um, monochromatic and kind of simple and chic ideas. So um, really fun, you could do words if you have stickers, like letter stickers or stencils. Um, and then you could just splatter paint with your paintbrush. <laughs> And then I love these. This is actually yeah, just like Sharpie design or like using a, a white marker paint if you guys have, if you happen to have like paint um, pens or anything. Um, so just fun patterns. And then I absolutely love the beetle. I also want to do that. I want to do everything. So this is my problem. And I actually have, <laughs> I have some aging pumpkins that just have no future life except to be painted. So I think I'm going to just keep painting pumpkins for the rest of the week. Um, the next one is just fun faces. So obviously these can always turn out cute. Um, I love the mask one, little vampire teeth, or just keeping it really simple and just doing white. And then bold brush strokes. I love the metallic too. Um, so you can keep it simple and a few colors, or you can do um, multiple colors. I like the one on the right, it's kind of fun. And I do recommend if you're doing multiple pumpkins to keep your palette sort of simplified to using like four of the same color so it looks cohesive, but you guys are all super skilled and know how to do all that and whatnot. Um, the drip technique is really pretty. Um, so you kind of literally just pour paint over the top in separate layers. Um, the one on the right is kind of more of a like marble technique which is really cool. You guys get inspired over there? Hopefully. Yeah, this is awesome. Fun. And then um, now getting into really fun stuff. This just reminds me of Saved by the Bell. Um, <laughs> retro in, in 90s, 80s and 90s is retro at this point, which is kind of scary, but anyway. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, these are just really cute. This is more of an 80s kind of theme, really. And of course, the color palette helps that. And then we have more of like 90s. And the one on the right, I love. I think I might actually do something like this, where you just do like half the pumpkin, different colors, really fun. I love this one. This is obviously a little bit more involved, but to do like a floral, um, pattern and then also you can actually um, carve out and kind of gut the pumpkin and then use it for a vase or use it as a vase for flesh brush florals. That's so pretty. First, don't forget Day of the Dead is um, actually is it the first of November? Should know this. It's basically Halloween of the first. Yeah. So this is a really fun theme and very fitting to paint on a pumpkin as well, so. Yay, so hopefully that gave you guys some ideas if you didn't have some already. Um, we're gonna do just some demos, so you can like zone out and do your own thing if you want. I totally get that. <laughs> but um, the five of us are going to just kind of take turns showing you guys what we're doing or if you guys have questions on a specific one um not saying we're pumpkin painting experts but maybe we can share some tips with you guys um so hopefully that helps do you guys have questions or anything though you guys are all getting started it looks like <laughs> yay well um <laughs> and also, yeah, if you guys, I know the last craft we did, we had like this really quiet time that was really nice because I think everybody just zoned out. So feel free to just like go into your Zen <laughs> moment and like zone out to craft. Um, 
I guess I'll start though. I did one of the plaids um, and it's actually really easy. Um, I do recommend penciling it because it doesn't necessarily follow the grooves of the um, pumpkin. But basically, um, if you're starting with a white pumpkin, I definitely recommend to probably paint it twice. Um, you want to dry between the coats because the acrylic will kind of pull and get like chunky if you don't let it dry properly. Um, a hair dryer works well too if you need to quicken your drying time. But basically, this one's really simple. You just paint a mid gray or whatever like mid tone you have. Um, you start with that, and then every place where the stripes um, cross over, you're just going to do a darker color. So whatever color that is, or if it's a gray or a black, um, you just do that. So really easy. First faux pas paint on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully, like. The paint should wash out. Um, yeah. yeah. It's just acrylic. And then, Ashley or Sarah, do you have one you want to share? Are you like in the, in your like deep? I haven't even decided what I'm doing yet, other than I've painted my pumpkin white and now I'm going over with some gray on the top. So I might end up doing a little happy, half and half over here and then i have half a pink pumpkin which is yet to be determined but it does take two coats to get it to a place yes mm -hmm. it's ready so and i'm going to do a half z two kind of thing so i've taped off the bottom portion just so it's like a nice clean line so again if you guys have paint um that's always helpful that's probably I am going to, I've got inspiration, so I'm using my fabrics as inspiration today. Um, the first one is I'm going to use this wall covering as kind of an inspiration for a lot of mine. Um, and so one of my pumpkins, I, I'm not doing a great job, but it's going to match this part of the wall covering. Um, and then I'm going to do, based off of this new velvet, I'm going to do a green one that matches this. So that's about as far as I've gotten. Um, I love that green. Yeah, no, I think this one will look really cool. But I got out the pumpkin stuff and the kids wanted to decorate, so I didn't get to do a lot of <laughs> work. <laughs> But they got their playtime in. Oh gosh. You should see their pumpkins. They're beautiful. You should share if you, if you really want to share. Okay, you should enter them out. Ashley. <laughs> Here is their entry. Aww. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like the world. <laughs> It looks like a globe. Yep. So those might be the winners. Cute. I'm not daring enough Aaron, to cut you one dyed your hair. Did you dye your hair blonde? What'd you say? Did you dye your hair blonde? Yeah, it's like really blonde. <laughs> it looks really good. Oh really my gosh. Good. My, my hair is jealous. It wants to be blonde really bad again. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to get started. I think I got inspired by your Save by the Bell. Oh. <laughs> That's so interesting. Did you, it almost looks like tie-dye on the bottom. Did you just like pour paint or did you like just do brush strokes? Well, it was like teal and pink and teal and pink and then I decided to just like mess it all and then do like it's kind of been morphing as I go here. The thing with acrylic is it dries so quickly so it's like a good and a bad thing depending on what you want to do with it. Um, 
the um, Halloween music. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Is anyone doing anything for Halloween? Dressing up? Doing Zoom parties? <laughs> no? Yeah. What, what about like, with kids? Like kids, are kids going trick or treating or not really? I don't think so. I don't think it's um, approved. Well, my son has a birthday party he's invited to, so and then it's also this is where he's going to the adult party. Yeah, it's hard. Your sound is all muted, Leticia. It's not muted. It's just hard to hear, but. Oh, definitely making a mess. <laughs> Holly, did you get like real sized pumpkins? Yeah, I have like <laughs> six here, I think. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> I have like so pre painted many. some. Yes, I love it. I have a ton too because some of them. Um, we're like getting old and so I had to buy new ones. So I have ones that like, I don't know, I think they just need to be painted because they're a little old. I need to give them a new life. Yeah, like I bought them to eat and then I haven't eaten them yet, so. Oh my God. So and good. It's super easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pumpkin, That's just like with good. salt, is the most delicious thing. Just like it's so good. Like you just eat it with a spoon out of the skin. Like you just cut this oh, in half. Yeah. Ooh, Roast it. I've never very, heard very that yummy. before. Yeah, there's one <laughs> it's, it's so good. Yeah. You can cut them into like wedges too. Yeah. yeah. Or do you cook it? I'm going to start with the color divided, like half blue, half white, and, and then fill it in with two shots. Okay. That's good. I'm glad the wind died down because I'm outside and all my cushions were like on the balcony yesterday <laughs> after all the wind. It was so cold yesterday. It it's like it turned fall. Yeah. I know. Fall is here for sure. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Right now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I don't think you can hear me, but that's mine. I kind of did it with a sharpie first, and then oh, started. It's so cute. This Michelle, is look at the screen. Jack Skellington. Oh, cute. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. So as you can see, that's my favorite holiday movie. And then, so I'm planning to do like more on this side. <laughs> I love the Mickey and Minnie. I had to, Callie, you know me. I know. Yeah. Too. I just like the concept of like a double side, you know? It's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So everybody has an idea, right? I'm guessing everyone's so quiet. <laughs> everyone's concentrated. They want to win the prize. <laughs> I'm just glad you guys did this because I probably wouldn't have gotten around to doing it by myself. Aww, <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Yeah. This month it was easy. I feel like decorating pumpkins is such a given. Oh, we're not gonna have any furniture. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's still a lot. I like seeing the apartment. I like should have laid down that moss and then clean it up. That's cool though. How does she want to finish it? White finish. Whitewash. No whitewash. Yes. Who, who's whitewashing over there? Okay. <laughs> um, my sister is. So my parents are moving out this uh, next week and we're keeping some furniture in the apartment. 
Mm. And the thing is, a lot of the furniture that my mom originally had is cherry finish, and mm. don't want that. So we're gonna whitewash it. But it's it's a heavy piece of like furniture. It's a big piece and solid wood. So it's gonna be very labor um, intensive. Yeah. It all and then doing the whitewash technique, which takes forever. It'll be so pretty. Mary Beth can tell you all about re, re um, her little the, house project. I know. What are you using as a whitewash, Michelle? Um, we haven't looked into that yet. Okay. It's just a good. Um, it's weird. Um, it's almost like a glaze, but it is like an oil base. So it serves as like a sealer as well. Um, but yeah, I I love refinishing furniture. <laughs> so it's like the most satisfying thing to me. Yeah. I like it too. It's so fun. Where's Hank? Oh yes. The oh, yeah, where is Hank? <laughs> Hank? 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 Hank was a it's so funny to think how COVID affects pets. They're going to be so codependent that when we all go back to work, they're going to freak. Well, whenever I go just to check the mail and take out the trash, one of my dogs starts crying, shrieking. Oh, you can no. hear her across the building. Oh. Oh, loud, she's shrieking. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why are you leaving? I wonder how many offices are going to have to become dog friendly. Yeah, yeah they better all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just went on a road trip. So we were in Denver and we drove there. So there and back. So Hank got to see a lot of the country and <laughs> a lot of time in the car. So I think he's just in in general, just confused about life. He doesn't know where he lives. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Denver's like heaven for dogs, I feel like. Did you take him hiking or anything, Rebecca? A little too small for that still, but oh, I did okay. run around in my parents' backyard a lot. It's really nice for him. He misses it. Tara, what's happening with your adoption process with a dog? Are you still, are you still looking into it? We are, and it's it's getting better. We actually it might go to the same um, rescue that we were originally looking at that was getting out of control, where people were like camping out the night before to get a dog. It was just like outrageous. So now we're finding that um, there's still dogs there that we actually want to rescue. Um, so we might go back and do that. Um, we've been keeping our eye on it. Um, we haven't really looked at breeders because that was our other option. Maybe we'll just go to a breeder and get one, but um, I know we'd like to rescue if we can. It's just been so crazy, but it's good to know that it's quieted down a little bit from mm -hmm. just the high demand of everybody trying to get a dog during COVID. So we'll see, but yeah. I think we'll get one. It might be might be my Christmas present this oh, year. Yeah. So we'll were see. there any specific dogs you have your eye on, or you just see in general what they have? Like, we just kind of see in general what they have. We kind of we know what temperament we want. Like we don't want a um, we want like a medium size or a larger dog, and we want them to be really chill. I mean, I have an extremely small dog yeah. who's only three and a half pounds, so. Yeah, to get a big dog, um, it has to be chilled <laughs> to deal with it. You definitely not Pippa. <laughs> so she's um she's a small puppy, but um, not a lot of ice though. She'll 
She'll set the ground rules. <laughs> she will. That is so true. She really will. So She'll be the tiny I'm sure any dog that comes in will have to <laughs> send to her a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, so hopefully, but no, we're not there yet. Um, but yeah. That'll be fun. I know. It will be an adventure. We're also worried about that, like when we both go back to work. Too, yeah. yeah. If we're both gone during the day, even running errands, she like doesn't know what to do. <laughs> she freaks so out. Weird. So I can definitely tell that they are going to have some anxiety when we go back. But that's going to be any we dog. Were trying to, we were trying to purposely leave the house in the evenings just to leave him alone and kind of get him used to it. But then we're like, we don't have anywhere to go. And <laughs> <laughs> kind of becoming a pain and we got lazy about it and I think he's just going to be so codependent. <laughs> That's a good idea though. I didn't even like, I didn't even think about that. Um, it's hard because she's like our break. It's like, oh, we're going to take her for a walk and we're going to go for a really long walk somewhere. And yeah. It's like our break from the house. Is she good with walking on a leash? Like, can she go pretty far or no? It depends on the day. <laughs> I don't know if Hank's that way too, but it's like if she wants to go for a long walk, she's all about it. But when she's done, she'll just start pulling on the leash. And I've probably created that bad habit because she knows I'll pick her up. Yeah. Okay, so. That way too. Is anybody carving the pumpkin? I think he's bigger now. He's like 10 pounds last time we weighed him. So he was five pounds when we got him. He's doubled already. Wow. Yeah, my boyfriend and I actually were fostering a dog during quarantine. And then we ended up adopting her because we fell in love. This is her. Oh, oh so cute. She's the like sweetest pit bull ever. We love her so much. She's so cute. Real pretty. Her name. Her name is Teddy. Yeah. She's so sweet. Ah, oh, This is the best part about Zoom calls. Everybody's dogs and cats. We're proud dog parents. Yeah. Yes. And I see Lindsay's on too. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> yeah, don't me. look behind me. I, guess, oh, I don't have any. Awesome. It looks so good. Everyone, Lindsay just moved into a new place. Can I announce that for you? So say, oh, you. yes. So it's a big deal. How was the move? Um, stressful. But um, I've recovered. I just, um, I wish I had more time to like actually get everything settled before the work week started, um, but it's fine. It looks beautiful so far. <laughs> this much that you can see. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your fiddle thing. Yep. It just, you can't stop him. He's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, that she wants it. You might fall, but it just slides on a floor like this when you're a dog. <clears throat> and maybe that's like a pen to do the bottom of this thing. Well, it's not dry. So like, how do I? How do I do it? <laughs> yeah, the bottom is really troublesome. Like, eventually, it's kind of inevitable. It's just going to peel off. Yeah, but it doesn't show, right? So. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just not much you can do. And then, um, just if. If you guys want to try to save them longer, you can. 
spray them um, with like polyurethane or something like that. But yeah. you know, maybe if you have it on hand, give it a spray and it will just help it keep longer. Mm -hmm. I hope it's great. So you didn't even need to paint it white. It looks beautiful in here. Simplicity is that looks so cute. Michelle. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see myself. I just started building it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're just doing dots with a paintbrush? Yeah. Cute. Yeah, I've never painted pumpkins before, so this is new, but yeah. it's much easier than carving. I was actually all set to carve. Like, I really thought I was going to carve, and then I saw your cute inspiration, and I couldn't. I just have to try the painting thing. It's Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I started painting them with my nephews when they were, like, really little, just because they can't manage, like, knives and stuff. Yeah. And then, like, what I was saying, the ones that would, like, be sad and rotten, I would just make them into little zombie pumpkins. And then they would just like keep getting grosser and grosser. It's great. <laughs> That's so cute. That's perfect for Halloween. Yeah. Exactly. I love your glasses, Serena. Thanks. Those are awesome. They were a pain in the ass to find, but they were totally worth it. <laughs> and hey, Karina, oh, Art Swagger was great, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. It was for everybody who joined. <laughs> yeah, good Supported. job. It, it really yeah, the raffle work is still is going, like right? Thing. I'm sorry? Yeah. The raffle is still going, right? The silent auction is still up, yeah. yeah. So we have it till the end of the week. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff on there. And I have to say, like, I'm really glad it turned, like, the whole thing turned out the way it did. It was really rough planning it at the beginning because we usually, like, start planning around, like, March. Um, so it took us a while <laughs> to figure out what the heck was going to happen. Um, yeah, thanks. I have it in my calendar to go check it out on, like, the 29th. I, think, I forget when I said it, but, like, right before it closes. <laughs> Everybody's just going to go last that. minute <laughs> and screw everyone that's been bidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to give my secret away. <laughs> it's kind of cool too because usually you don't get to um, have that like one-on-one -on -one with the artists and kind of hear their um, whatever philosophy or whatever you would call that and like it's just nice to have that like in-depth info. Um, yeah, I mean, it was crazy because too we were trying to figure out like what was the topic going to be, how are we going to tie this into the whole event? Because it's usually you know it's an art walk, so building a virtual um, gallery just didn't seem like it just wouldn't have the same effect. I think so. We thought just a mm -hmm. panel discussion to talk about like it, especially because right now too like a lot of young young tech companies and a lot of like art is getting infiltrated into the work we do so it was just nice to have yeah. to talk to about it right it like plays a big part in the design so i think for designers to hear from their their perspective the, it was the dj was great too oh yeah i feel like He's, we've had him for the last let me know what you need. Well, I miss dancing. I remember last I know. <laughs> Literally everybody afterwards was like, I just want to dance. <laughs> Especially because those like, debates were right on after. So everyone just wanted to like pretend it wasn't happening. But yeah. yeah. So. And con, like we I always dance a ton at Haunt Couture. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we didn't have yeah. money. So, like, we would have, like, crazy, like, dance circles. And, like, well, Haunt Couture is, like, a whole nother, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I reposted all the videos. I don't know if anyone saw those. I, I saw. I was having a very sad moment. <laughs> like, oh. 
Yeah. First of all, it feels like that was like five years ago to me somehow. Like, and it was yeah, it, me too. It does. It's crazy. It does feel like that. But it definitely like there's a void this year without having that. I think. Is it random? Tell me it's not. No, it's fine to put them in the crate. Yeah, those are the two best. The box. The box can put me in my box. Okay. He's not quite at bed status, but he's almost there. Mm -hmm. Touch me, come cuddle I me. I know. <laughs> it's the same thing with your kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they grow up and they don't want to cuddle you anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the dog's like, he was oh. not happy. <laughs> <laughs> he just followed me into the bathroom all innocent and happy and like, it turned into a bath time. He was like, what is this? <laughs> so now he's like, I don't like you. Yeah, it's like, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> it's like having a teenager in your house. Yeah. <laughs> Sunset starting. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty. Hold on. I feel like I always miss the sunsets these days. I, I, so I, early. It is. Like my new apartment has this oh, view cute. of the oh gosh, mountains. Cute. Experienced like a patio before because I've always had like another like unit instead of an actual view. <laughs> so pretty. Sarah, what are you doing? I'm drawing <laughs> triangles on my, on my, Cute. on my piece. I'm giving myself boundaries and then I'm going to paint within the line or at least try to. <laughs> I like oh, good. I had to, I had so many photos. I actually started a Pinterest board and have like so many, but there's a lot of really clever ideas out there for sure. I, I was like, everybody's going to already have an idea. Yeah. Um, I think it like led me into a rabbit hole that I started from your board, but went somewhere else. But yes, definitely. That's the thing with Pinterest. I actually, I never use Pinterest anymore because it's like, I get on Pinterest and then like five hours later, I'm like, what I know. happened? What, why did I start <laughs> searching on Pinterest? <laughs> yes, but it is fun for sure. Yeah. I already had like Halloween boards. Oh, good. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I'm so interested to see like everybody's inspiration and what they're in the mood to paint. Um, Does anybody I can share one? Yeah, where is my camera? I found these little like upside down ghosts. Cute. Um, that looked really easy. Yeah, these are cute. so cute, and I've so. never seen anything like that. It looks really yeah. Cute. But the white, I have to do like a lot of coats. Right. Yeah. And you can always use spray paint, but then it's like, you know, you want to go out and buy yeah. spray paint. <laughs> that old thing. I probably have some of it. My roommates and I have pumpkins this weekend. And they're already like molding, so we don't know. Oh, no. They don't last that long, huh? <laughs> they're like wilting. Well, I'm like, this hasn't even been a week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, with carving too, I think you can. Um, there are some things you can apply to the inside that are supposed to help it from 
like oh, really? going bad more quickly. Soak it in milk, right? Like, yeah, there's like organic. It's like a milk one. Yeah. Um, and then there's like more toxic ones, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so whatever you have in your then you throw a flame in there. Take it. <laughs> Can't be good. Yeah, we definitely should have looked into that because they're like gone. Oh, they usually last a little longer, though. I know. I would think. Maybe we should have put them outside. Well, if 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 the pumpkins have been sitting there for a long time too, if it, if it's like anything like Christmas decoration, these pumpkins might have been. <laughs> Been there a while. Their last year stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Really already. Oh, I guess it's almost Halloween already, so. No, Halloween's like right now. <clears throat> Saturday. I'm taking a trip up to Solvang in two weeks to buy Christmas ornaments. Oh. That's explicitly oh. why we're going. Isn't that where you got married, though, Rebecca? <laughs> What's that? Isn't that where you got married? Yeah. <laughs> I but still want to get to go there. And I really okay. want to. It's not disrupting your. <laughs> I love it. I love it up there. I Rebecca, which winery did you get married at again? Uh, we got married at Lincourt. So it's a super small little outdoor kind of rustic one, like no frills. Um, but it's funny because, you know, Marco's German. And this town is totally Danish. So <laughs> his German family is like, why are you getting married in California, in the US, in this Danish city? It's like not really Danish because it's in California. <laughs> but it's fun because they have a lot of these European inspired um, like Christmas stores and stuff. And so last time we were up there, we bought the actual candles that you put on a Christmas tree because that's oh. what they do. So we're going to have real candles and you buy a little clip and you just put it on the branch. So, yeah, so if we burn down LA, like just <laughs> it was that's why. <laughs> you can but, you can get your tree sprayed with fire retardant just to be safe. I know. I <laughs> just, so, just so everyone's aware. <laughs> well, we did when we did Christmas in Germany. That's how they do it. But they light the candles for like an hour and then blow them out, and they just sit around the tree. And there's a bucket of water, water handy, like just in case. So it's not like you leave it burning and walk away. Um, but it's kind of a fun tradition. So we're going to do lights and candles just to have it. We're supposed to be in Germany or anything. Yeah, that sounds nice. It sounds very cozy. I bet it makes the tree smell good too. Oh, it does kind of, yeah. Yeah. I found one of my velvet pumpkins and I started painting that on an Amazon. It's kind of fun. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh, I'm surprised. Like, you know, like it, you could honestly, like, it looks great. It washes out. It's kind yeah, of and then this you just rent it out. Real one. That's kind of green. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, if it's still wet, it'll rinse out um, more quickly. Um, but even like if it dries, like even with your paintbrushes, like you guys should clean your paintbrushes right after. But if you don't, it will come out eventually. You can just soak them. Whereas like oil paint, it's yeah, it's. Is everybody dressing up for Halloween? Yep. I, I am. I want to. I am. I am. I'm going to. Yay! What is everyone dressing up as? If it's a secret, that's okay. <laughs> I like you. Using an old costume strip. But it was such a shame for me. 
be doing costume. We're going to watch Hocus Pocus nice on Halloween. I was like, I want to watch Hocus Pocus. Oh, so I have ex an exciting kind of thing. Like our, what am I saying? Our moon. It is a full moon on Halloween. Yeah. Which is, yeah. And yeah, I'm sure you guys realize that, but that's really cool. It hasn't happened in a long time. Actually, Christina, I think you're the one that told me that. <laughs> yeah, so I just saw the day. I think it was since 1944. Or yeah, maybe. so cool. Of course, 2020. Yeah, <laughs> no. it's Halloween is like on a Saturday, so I'm like, oh, it'd be the perfect night to go out. Too bad. So anyway. <laughs> well, my aunt has some plan. I'm going home um, this weekend, and she's like, Pack a bag, <laughs> like auntie. So I don't know what she has in store, but it should be a fun Ooh, Halloween. Fun. She's what's adventurous. What's the best Halloween costume you guys have ever seen? Oh God. I've seen some good ones at bars when I used to go out. <laughs> yeah, like West Hollywood, people have like, costumes that are like eight people like <laughs> oh to like yeah, make some do. kind of crazy last thing last year bill and i were in paris and he's it's pretty for like four dollars seeing photos people laughing at us like we were such tourists, it didn't even matter. Us in monkey masks on oh, Halloween. That's cool. In Paris. He does these things to embarrass me. That's the same already. What? Where does time go? Honestly. It's because it's so meditative and you just get in the zone. Yes. I was thinking Halloween music. But then I'm like, no. Tracks from like horror movies. Oh. Yeah. They're yeah. usually yeah, like just that. eerie and like kind of, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of like, you do the monster mash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one too. So not Halloween related, but um, did anyone see Coco, the Pixar film? It's a couple years old. Yeah. It's not new news. Yeah. But we it's just so watched cute. it for the first time and it's so cute. I cried. I was You cried for, like profusely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love that. I just made my boyfriend watch that and he's never cried at a movie in his life. Oh my gosh. And he bawled. It's like, oh, like he bawled his eyes out. You know, in the beginning of Up, like, yeah. I'm crying in the first oh. five minutes of that movie. Up was another one. Yeah. I really yeah. I like that movie, too. I just saw on Netflix, My Octopus Teacher. Has anybody seen that? No, how That's that? very good. That's a good movie. Really yeah, it's a, I'm surprised. It was really good. It's about a guy who goes to the ocean every day and discovers this octopus that teaches them about life. <laughs> but the cinematography is really good. What's it called? My Octopus Teacher. Oh. Interesting. Oh. We just tried watching that Over the Moon one on Netflix, but it's a lot of singing. Like, my son, after 10 minutes, was like, I'm done. <laughs> It's a lot of what? It's a kid that likes Frozen, though. He has Frozen number two on repeat. And I was like, really? <laughs> oh, funny. So even, even boys like Frozen? He didn't like the first one, but he loves the second one, which is funny. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, really? I show my son everything. I'm like, decide what you like, what you don't yeah. like. 
Yeah. Oh, that's 100%. so good, though. It's so good. I just know so many. I didn't like Frozen number one, but like the second one, I totally really like it. And it's not as much singing as the first one. Yeah, it's not as much singing for sure. Too. Yeah, we're yeah, a big I Disney thought the storyline was. <laughs> I haven't seen the second one. It took me a long time to watch the first one. No, no, no. Nope. Hey, drop it. Me too. I recommend the second Good. one, honestly. Look at it. Look at it. Harder than I thought to paint cacti. Are you doing cactus? Yeah. I'm trying to do like a desert landscape for one of them because I'm going to keep it out past Halloween. Oh my gosh. Something Thanksgiving themed kind of. Yes. But, yeah. Oh, I see your little sororos. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, oh wow! It's like Cute. a layered thing yeah. that I saw. You, but that's so fun. It looks so cool. Hey, no, hey, no, drop it. This is I a lot actually, harder than um, that. Look at it. I did a mural, Callie, in my side yard of a desert. Oh, I think I saw it. It's so cute. Yeah, it was really fun. But it, it doesn't have that like layered effect really. Like there's actually I'm seeing that right now. <laughs> I'm just winging it. Mary Beth, your meal was so pretty. It oh, was. Thanks. Really it was fun. It's actually so much fun laughing because it's like it's gonna be the project that it's just like like a wailing wall but for like painting like you know i'll just go out there and keep painting <laughs> and every time i think i'm gonna have time to go paint something happens and then i can't but it was definitely fun the good thing is that it's there when you need it and you need to take a break yeah. and just have something therapeutic yeah I think yeah. everybody needs whatever it is. I had this set up at lunchtime and I was on like a really stressful call. And I just like threw my headset down and came out here and started painting. You're like, yeah, I'm done. art therapy now. I know. It's like, oh, you want all that by next Tuesday? What? Crazy. They're like, sure, let me snap my fingers and make it happen. Yeah. I love that Karina is like way into carving her pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. That would really be really like while my son was at preschool. I was like, I'm going to take advantage and make a mess in my house because he'll make it even worse. <laughs> Carving is also therapeutic. <laughs> yeah. I know I like already like set aside all the pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna like roast them hopefully yeah. tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Yes, and you're really like good. in a bowl. This is a great event. I can't tell you how long it's been since I've actually carved or painted a pumpkin. So I like that this was like oh, making me. Totally oh, okay. yeah. agree. So our little apartment complex actually has a okay. okay. carving thing. And obviously this year we're not doing it, which is sad. That's cool though. It is like we have this area um, where we all set up and like people bring their kids if they have kids and like we just carve together and then there's a little competition and um, Bill won actually last time he did a jack in the pumpkin or something. <laughs> He's like 
such a dork. He actually did, he built like a jack in the jack-o'-lantern that pops out. He like built, built oh, a my God. in the pumpkin. Um, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So but never on Halloween Wars. Is him. <laughs> he will win. I'm really into it. And it was really fun, though. <clears throat> okay. Making me excited to see everybody's, like, finished pumpkins, like, their pictures when they post them. Me? Sure hope it photographs better than it looks in person. <laughs> I know. Ooh, Photoshop. That's, cute. <laughs> that's like oh, really that's different really cute. than your fabrics though, right? Or is that one of your fabrics? This one was oh, um, all of my leftover colors here. This one, I think it's dry. I did like the, the little dots on that one. Cute. And just the stripes. Cute. That one. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the green one, but there's going to be a green pattern on this one. It's a very nice color. Love it. They're going to look so nice together, too. But this one, this one's a little like Say by the Bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so cute, though. Like the bold brush stroke one. Yeah. Um, I can't believe it's actually six o'clock already. I know. But, oh, it is. So we're going to stay on since I'm like in the total midst of finishing this. Like, this one went by really fast. We're not even close to done. <laughs> no. We can stay on. Yeah. Well, it's so many layers, too, depending on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like waiting for it to dry. Right. In between. My problem is just that I have paint all over the place. So I'm getting like little smudges everywhere. But I'm like, eh. I yeah, me too. Especially because I'm like, I guess it probably won't matter. But I'm left-handed, so I'm always smudging. Me too. Well, oh, that's harder. Yeah. I'm like, how do I rest my hand? I can't. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm proud of my little freehand oogie boogie, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do, do some font. Oh, I did the oogie boogie. Oh, oogie. that looks really good. And then I did, oh, like, that's really cute. A little pat. And I Sally. Sally's dress on there. Cute. I love it. Oh, no. I was going to paint this, but if you're going to do font, definitely use the Sharpie. It's so much easier. It also has to do multiple layers, though, with the Sharpie, too. Did you get something out of it? I'm trying to do, like, a calligraphy thing. I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, so this side is just, like, almost like... Mm. So, do we submit via... Uh, what Sarah sent on Instagram is how we submit our thing. So yeah, if you want to tag, it. yep. If you want to tag all those three, I think it's still in the chat. If you yeah, I tag all. Oh, you're perfect. 